ladies and gentlemen, Joe fans, trans fans, toy collectors all, I am excited, happy, and proud to bring to you not the technically the first, but really the first official Hasbro released mainline G.I. Joe and Transformers crossover figure. From Transformers Combiner Wars, I bring you Viper. Viper is a repaint and retool of a new head of Combiner Wars Legends Power Glide. Redone as the Cobra Rattler. Probably one of the most, if not the most iconic um, G.I. Joe vehicles in the history of the Arrear American Hero line. Um, as you can see, it is done in its traditional Rattler blue. Um, but that's not just where the homage ends. Standing it up on end. And let me adjust the focus a little. You can see that it has the original, what was a sticker, Rattler call sign. As well as a unique take on the Cobra Air Force insignia. Um, we'll get to it in robot mode a bit more, um, but I'll definitely bring it in and show you a clearer look. It's the Cobra Air Force insignia with a Decepticon logo in the middle. I'll be very honest with you, that's the first time I can remember something like that being done. I know we've seen the Cobra Decepticon logo. I've used it as like an avatar in a couple web pages, but I've never seen it done with the Air Force logo before now. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's really cool. One thing I do really want to mention, and I think this is a bit more for the Transformer fans, as you've noticed, on this version of the mold, the legs are sticking together. As some of you may or may not know, Power Glide unfortunately has an issue where the back legs do not peg in together or stay pegged in as well as they should. I think that has something to do um, with how this figure is painted, but we'll get to that in robot mode. Since the transformation is exactly the same as Power Glide, we're just going to go from vehicle mode to weapon mode. I figured we'd stop off uh, on the way to robot mode and check out uh, Power Glide's target master mode, or I should say Viper's target master mode. It's the same transformation, same design. Um, obviously, it's going to work a lot better now the legs are sticking together. Um, I think this is kind of cool. The instructions show it as a weapon for Galvatronus, which is kind of interesting because Viper's bio... Um, shows it as a faceless drone, so I can basically just see Galvatronus grabbing one of the drones and using it as a gun. Um, just uh, as an aside, as has been mentioned elsewhere, a lot of the Combiner War figures, uh, uh, you know, the standalone robots and the combined modes, Superion, Menasaur, they have a hard time holding uh, this weapon mode up, and that has to do with the ball joints not being strong enough. I've noticed with when using the combiner mode limbs, you know, the arms uh, for Superion or Optimus Maximus, um, if you do a double bend at the knee and leg, it'll work a little bit better, um, but you might have better results going ahead and uh, turning the elbows inward um, as it's originally shown on the packaging and having it just hold it straight out like that. But other than that, you know, it is a cool little weapon mode. I mean, it's not a fancy gun, but as somebody I've seen several times on uh, message boards, this does look like it can do a lot of damage. And here's Viper in robot mode. Now, as I mentioned... 
I think the problem with Power Glide's legs sticking together was that the figure used a heavy um, metallic pa paint that looks good, but affected the pegs on the inside of the leg um, coming together. Viper here uses what I would consider a flatter blue with a hint of purple finish that's not metallic, but does allow the um, limbs to hold together better. Personally, I prefer this um, flatter paint as I think it's closer to the original uh, Cobra Rattler jet. Now, as I mentioned, this uh, figure features a hybrid Cobra Decepticon Air Force insignia. And here, let me bring it in and give you a look here. Let me just clean up the image. And as you can see, there it is. Um, it's absolutely wonderful. Um, just, uh, get that. Yeah. It's, like I said, it's the Cobra Air Force and with a Decepticon logo over the globe. Now, while we're here, let me uh, show you the head because that is a new um, piece, I guess you can say, piece. This is actually... Some individuals have said this is based on a uh, traditional Cobra Viper because of the fact that the figure's name is Viper. That is incorrect. This is based on the head of the pilot for the Rattler, Wild Weasel. Um, Longtime Joe fans would obviously catch this. That's really cool to see um, them recognizing Wild Weasel like that. Um, absolutely fantastic. So we'll just pause, and I'll give you my final thoughts. As children, at least I know, and I know my friends did this, as well as myself, we would play with our G.I. Joe and Transformers together, creating fantastic adventures where the Autobots and Joes would fight the Decepticons and Cobra. Over the years, there have been little uh, hints and nods to this, Cobra Commander helping Megatron get his G2 body. The original G.I. Joe vs. Transformers Marvel Limited series. And uh, Snowcat from Energon using the uh, G.I. Joe vehicle mode. But ever since I first saw the prototype for what would have been a G.I. Joe crossover line with Transformers in the early 1990s, I dreamed about what would be be a full retail line. Now, some fans, to uh, coin a phrase, don't want chocolate messing with their peanut butter. And they're entitled to their opinion, but I can't help but feel that this would be a wonderful venture. Now, the Collector's Club, or I should say Fun Publications as a whole, is going ahead and starting their own little G.I. Joe crossover line. We've seen Marissa Fairborn um, with Afterburner, a non-transforming motorcycle. Um, Soundwave from Pro Transformers Prime being repainted as a bat drone. And, of course, what I think is going to be the best to come out of this, we are finally getting a 3 and 3 quarter inch action figure of Old Snake from Season 3 of the Transformers cartoon. What will Hasbro do on the retail end, on the main retail end, remains to be seen. But Viper is a fantastic step forward. Combining this with the news that Hasbro will be continuing um, G.I. Joe figures based on their uh, 50th anniversary designs, uh, two-packs and three-packs, as well as vehicle sets, um... The year 2015 is uh, going to be an exciting year for Transformer fans, Joe G.I. Joe fans, and toy collectors at all, as a whole. Thank you, all of you, for joining me for this special review. And I hope, 
the spirit of harmony and unity continues and we can all celebrate the fact that whatever we buy we are all toy collectors and that is a wonderful thing.